this class is going to be how thermal changes are going to cause stimulation of the labyrinth and this test which we do for assessing the vestibular system is your caloric test. So let's see what happens in this caloric test and why do we get an ocular moment like a nystagmus when we are doing this caloric test. Let's understand the core principle behind this test. So basically when we are doing a caloric test, we, we are aiming at understanding how thermal changes will stimulate the labyrinth. Now in the external ear, when you irrigate with warm water or cold water, the temperature changes are transmitted to the middle ear by the process of convection. Now from here, the temperature changes will go and stimulate the lateral semicircular canal and once the lateral semicircular canal is stimulated, the impulses are carried ascendingly by the vestibular nerve. The vestibular nerve further will conduct the impulses to the vestibular nucleus which is present in the brainstem. From there, the impulses go to the oculomotor nucleus and from the oculomotor nucleus, you will have the nystagmus. So, the process of thermal stimulation begins in the external auditory canal and the impulses are being carried from the external ear till the oculomotor nucleus to cause nystagmus. So, this is how any thermal change in the canal will cause nystagmus. Now, is this normal or abnormal? This is a normal occurrence in me, you and everyone to understand if our vestibular pathway, meaning the vestibular nerve, the vestibular nucleus, medial longitudinal fasciculus, third, fourth, sixth nerve nucleus, are they all functioning or not? Can I assess by doing this test? Yes. So, in me and you, if I put hot water and cold water, there has to be a nystagmus. If I don't see a nystagmus, then that is abnormal. So, when we do not see a nystagmus on thermal stimulation, it means that there is some pathology in the vestibular pathway. Now, how do we get the inference? The mnemonic is very simple. Cows. Cold water causes nystagmus towards the opposite side and the warm water causes nystagmus towards the same side. So now you've learned such a difficult thing in quick two to three minutes of time. If you want more such videos, do like, share, subscribe to get regular updates. And if you have anything that you feel is difficult or if you have not understood any particular thing from ENT and you want to make it simple from me, do let me know in the comment section below. Take care and bye-bye.